Alright lads and welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2020 is Celtic. This is part 21, I hope you all enjoy. In this episode it will be both games against Napoli in the Europa League quarter final. And since you were last here, we've played three games, we have scored 10 goals and we have conceded no goals. As you can see, beat Aberdeen 3 now. Almada gets a double and Mario Garcia scores. 2-0 against Livingston, Mario Garcia gets a double, and then 5-0 against Livingston again, Greg Ard getting a double. So, that makes us go into this game having won a fair few in a row. Let's have a look at how Napoli have been getting on. Right, so they're 10th in the league. So, if we don't beat them, I'm going to be disappointed because I feel like Celtic should be beating 10th in the league in Italy. So, hopefully that uh, comes to be... What actually happens. So they've came 8th, 8th, 8th. So they're scraping their way in. But they're, they're still in the quarterfinals and they put Sport and Lisbon out. So they have to be good. Let's have a look at their key player. 57 million he's worth. I've seen him before. That I've seen that picture before. But I don't see that he's better than our centre mids. I, I think our centre mids are better than him. So that gives me a bit of confidence. Let's look at the team that we're going to send out there to try and get the result against Napoli. We're going to go for Afonso and goals. Actually, there's something else I wanted to show you before we do that. Right, let's have a look at their transfer history. So this is what they've spent. They've spent $52 million this year. Georgi Cuenca. He came for Juventus. Barcelona. Our centre-backs are better than him. If you have a look at our we scouted him, he's only three stars. Show me. I want to see how he compares. There. So if you look, he's no even, he would be our fifth choice centre back and they've paid big bucks for him. So that, that gives me confidence. Have they sold anyone? Noah Kenny for 18.75 million. We had a look at him before, he's decent, but he's not. Jader Eduardo. Right, so we're feeling fairly confident. I mean, it's Napoli, it's no Juventus, so we'll, we're going in there trying to get a result. We're away from home in the first leg, which is always good. Afonso, we bought from Napoli for 20 million about three years ago, so it came up. Hopefully that makes him have a good game. Kieran Smith is actually better star rating-wise now than Ben Godfrey, but I just think that Ben Godfrey... Has got the experience now. He's 30 year old, 40 out caps for England. He's faster. Next year it will be Kieran Smith at starting these big games, but this season we're going to go for uh, Godfrey. Garcia up front instead of Greg R. It's a tough choice, but he is starting to become a beast and he's been scoring goals. So I don't, who am I to stop him if he's been scoring goals? We specifically rested him against Livingston so that he could come in and play against Napoli today. But Greg Hart is going to be on the bench and he's just missing out, uh, unfortunately, for, for poor Greg. He'll, I'm sure he'll be gutted about that. So let's get started, hoping for a good result here away. I think we should be able to beat them. I, I feel Barcelona, who we had in our Champions League group, are seven points clear at the top of La Liga and Chelsea. Uh, just beat Man United 3-1 in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. So I feel like we've been unlucky again, getting hard draws until we came into the Europa League. I think we've definitely got a good enough team to go far in this tournament. Uh, right, before the game, we're away from home. Tell the players to go and prove a point today. Hmm... I want. I expect you to pick up where you left off last time. No. We've been on a good run lately. No, it doesn't really compare because we've not played anybody like Natalie. I expect you to go out there and just dominate them the way that we dominate everybody. And if any if anything else happens except from that, I'm unhappy. I hope you know. Send the assistant. Right, we want. We want the highlights on extended for the Europa League games. Napoli to kick off. Brigoni. Cuenca. So he's starting. So their centre back that our would be our fifth choice centre back is starting. So 
there's that. Celtic, 62% possession, two shots to their none. So it started well so far. But they've just had a dig in, but Afonso touches it over for a corner to Napoli. First chance of the game goes to them. Here's Rabbit. Whips that ball back stick and they've headed it in. Carl George has made it 1 0 to Napoli. Bastard. Ah, he does for a corner, that's not good. Hey, right, let's try again, Celtic. We're not watching that shite again. Demand more. We've played Napoli twice before and we beat them and drew with them, so. And I think we are better now, but just obviously my team talk at the start of the game might have not been as good as it could have been or something. Here's Celtic with a corner. Naldo, long ball. Garcia can't get there. Tekken. Naldo. Tekken again. Rolls it, crosses it. Romero whips it in, back stick. But there's, they can't get it clear. They're hemmed in. Naldo gets to the byline, finds Romero, crosses it. And it's our way go, Alfredo on the left hand side. He's put it in the bottom corner. Young Alfredo, five foot four of pure dynamite. Pure and unadulterated dynamite. Almada with a lay down there, that was lovely, didn't he? There was a Napoli player in the way, he just went, there you go, son. Poof, put that in the bottom socket for me. And now Celtic are getting going, they've got a bit of momentum. It's another chance. Here's Rudy Calavigio. Out to Naldo, he's on the byline. He finds Romero again. Naldo, and oh, Garcia's shot gets blocked. This is close, it's intense, and Alfredo gets the ball snatched from, and here's Napoli trying to counter-attack inside their own stadium, but Jader Edward, he knows how to play football, brings his man down on the halfway line, gives away a free kick, but stopped the counter-attack dead in its tracks. Here's Jader Eduardo, back to Ben Godfrey. The excitement level in this stadium is through the roof, Ben Godfrey marching forward. Romero beats two men. He puts it on the bottom corner. Oh, Michel Romero. Celtic looking at that semi-final gun. We will see you soon. I wish we didn't have to sell Romero because he does stuff like this. Look, bump, bump, bump. But we're not having somebody at the team for that long that's going to be a big bitch about wanting to move. I mean, it's only Real Madrid. We'll be better than them in about five years. And their players will be getting unhappy wanting to come to us. Good result, Celtic 2, Napoli 1, we're happy so far, well done boysies, go out there and keep going. <laughs> Jadar Eduardo, right, second off, same as the first, let's just go away, let's go home with a 4-1-1, let's just go with a 4 one one to Parkhead. 2-0 Man City, 3-0, so it's probably going to be Celtic Man City in the semi-final as expected. Ben Godfrey brings that down and Ahmed Tekken rattles it barn in and it's free in the one Celtic and I mean you have to look at them and go into the bookies and think like, what's the odds on Celtic winning the Europa League? I know Man City are still there and Juventus are still there but it's, it wouldn't hurt to dream. This guy Kaizo, I don't know if you've seen him here, he plays for Man City, he's a striker. That was one of the players that we were considering buying for big bucks. He's five stars, so he's one of the only five star players that we'll actually like consider coming to us that we have scouted. Olonu, Naldo, wins it. Nice. Here's Romero. Counter attack for Celtic. I think I'm going to change it to counter attack because they're going to be desperate to get back into the game, start throwing bodies forward. Alfredo! Let's, let's put it on the counter attack and wait a wee bit more. Waste a bit more time. 3-1. Right. In transition. We're going to go for the counter now, lads. Good. Right, let's go. Every time we've done that, it's been decent so far. So hopefully we can do the same. Right, Alfonso, get the ball going. Get it flung out. Clavigio. Alfredo picking the ball up inside his own box. If you run and score a goal, mate, you will get... You will become a hero of mine. On you go. Even an assist. Full length for the pitch. And oh! Romero. Inches over the crossbar. Michel Romero's on 71% pose p uh, condition, so we're looking at Greg R saying, you, you play inside forward on the right sometimes. Oh, Garcia! Big mistake from Napoli there. But then again, we're thinking to ourselves, free kick to Celtic, let's see what Thiago Almada can do. He whips it! And Circarelli touches it over the bar, and it's 63 minutes on the clock, and Michel Romero is going to be replaced by Greg Zier. Definitely. 
Alfredo's on a 7.10, so Kubic could come on soon for him. But it has been a masterful performance by Celtic. Velajic, Jadar Eduardo, Ben Godfrey. Nice, just keep it. Doing, doing an impression of Van Dijk there. There's Gregor, whips it in, back stick. Mario Garcia finds Alfredo, he hits the side net and that would have been good, but that miss has been the final nail in the Alfredo coffin. He's, I mean, he's not playing as good as we want. He scored the first goal and it almost gave me a boner, but since then he's been not as great, except for when he ran from his own half and then nearly set up a goal. But I mean, he's on a 7.10. 7.10 means you go off. What a pass that was from Velajic and Greg Aaron Garcia. Just past the post there. Good tackle by Velajic again. Butcher. Ruddle. Here's Rabi. And Naldo wins it. Tekken. Celtic are good on the counter attack here. Gregor finds Almada. It's three versus two. Three versus three. They've managed to get a player back, but it doesn't. Almada, and it breaks loose, but nobody's there. This is good. Greg Oskim on, he's getting himself a 6.7. Almost, but, but Romero came off because he was tired. We're going to bring on Gonzalez up front instead of Mario Garcia. Mario Garcia's been quiet today, so he can come off. Naldo. Clavijo, take your time, good pass, long ball, I mean, I don't know what I said good pass for because it was nowhere near a Celtic player, Almada, darting inside, beats a man, finds Velajic, tries to cross, can't get it, Almada, and a save by the Napoli goalie, Sarcarelli, 3-1 Celtic here at the Sao Paulo, Almada, back stick, keepers messed up, and Greg Orr has nodded it in, 24th goal of the season, He's doing what he does for Celtic, putting the ball in the back of the net. And I'd say that's us in the Europa Cup semi-finals. But, I mean, we wouldn't mind Lille getting a wee away goal here and then somehow sneaking through it because we'd rather play Lille. Man City are frightening. Tekken, Almada, Jadar Eduardo. Jadar Eduardo again, Almada. What a pass that was. It got to be 5-1. Keeper touches it over. How many Celtic fans are in the stadium? Because I can just imagine them partying. They are going to be having a great time in this stadium. Kubic. Gonzalez. Jad Edward. Jad. They're just passing it around here. Keeping the ball. Napoli have got a lot of players back in their own box. But Almada finds his man. But he just Celtic just want it more. Look at Kubic racing back there. Taking Ben Godfrey playing left back for some reason. Jad Edward whips a ball to Gregor. Almada! 4-1! And Celtic! It's actually 5-1. Celtic look unstoppable in this year's competition. Chelsea won it last year as well, in case I didn't mention that already. Chelsea actually won it. I checked that. Uh, so we had the Barcelona and the Europa League winners in our group, and we played the wrong formation. Uh, we played the 4-3-3, the where the wing-backs pushed up against those teams when really... We need to make sure that we're a bit more sound. Oh, it's almost 6-1. 6-1 and I just start playing, recalling Signorelli back from his loan and starting him up front in the next game. Here's Ben Godfrey. Back post, Greg. Oh, oh that was a sitter. That was a sitter. You should have buried that there. And it's just chance after chance for Celtic here. Napoli just don't know what is hitting them. Tekken. I think this is because we changed it to um, counter-attacking and it's late in the game. They're getting tired and we're just looking deadly. Jadar Edward whips it across. Here's Tekken. Finds his man. Here's Naldo. Tekken. Naldo. Gregor. Cross that. Cross that. Oh, he was right there. Gonzalez. Number seven. Long throw and the goalie comes out and gets it. I've been finding those young long throws pretty useful. Especially if your player's got quite, high, quite a high attribute, he seems to launch it. If you get your centre-back attacking the near post as well, he'll come across and know that whatever note means. 
taking that was terrible. Zuccarelli, what did he? Why did he do that there? They want us to have another long throw. Ah, wasn't very good that one. Try again, mate. Naldo, long ball. Taken. And Celtic have came to Italy and spanked Napoli 5-1. I mean, that is decent. Big Ben Godfrey played a stormer. Teago Almada, who's been on fire since the second half of this season, also had a great game. Well done, lads. What else can you say except from very happy? I have a semi. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't, I, I was talking about an erection, but it actually applies to uh, the Europa Cup as well. 3-0, Phil Foden. He's probably fairly good. He's probably good enough to get in our team. He's one of the few players I've seen for a long time. Right, let's see the second leg. Couple of changes for the game against Napoli, guys. We're going to start in goals with Godfrey left and, and with Afonso. Left back, Velicic, right back, Naldo. Same centre back, Godfrey and Clavijo, but we're going to change the midfield up a bit because um, Jadar Edward is if he gets one more yellow card, he will miss the the first leg of the semi final. I would rather have him play in the away game at Man City if we get through. So we're going to drop him onto the bench uh, for that exact reason and bring Gomez in to play in the the deep line playmaker role. We're also going to bring in Chao Roberto for Tekken. He's not he's picked up a knock and won't be able to play. And um, Greg Orr is going to play come in and play up front instead of Mario Garcia because he didn't impress me that much in the last game. Let's have a look at Hugo Afonso. World class goalkeeper now and could still get better. I can see this guy being here when we win the Champions League. He's that good. Let's go, right? 5-1 for the first leg, so I'll just put it on the key highlights again. There's no point in watching the whole game, uh, like, like well extended, because obviously we're, we won 5-1 away. <laughs> we know we're going through. It's just a case of hoping that Leo pull out all the stops and win 3-0 away at Man City to give us an easy game. Right, what do we want to say? But we don't want to start getting inside our own heads and saying that. Just go out there and pick up where you left off. We beat them 5-1 last week. Let's go and beat them 5-1 again. Just got to that semi-final meaning absolute business. Faith to all of the lads and let's go play the game. Turn that down to key. And let's go Ben Godfrey. Clavigio. Naldo. Romero back in the team, he got subbed off because he wasn't fully fit, but as you've seen in the last game, the big man is capable of winning these games for us. 1-0 Man City, so it's going to be Celtic Man City, and it's probably going to be maybe Schalke, and we don't really, you can't really tell in this game yet, between UV and Mars and Olympi and Olympic Leone. Gomez back stick, Greg Arnett's touched over the line, Michel Romero, how many just scores goals all the time? He's a right winger, and he just bangs them in. He's just always in the right place. Good finish, slight tackle from inside the box. Celtic 1, Napoli 0, Gomez. When keeps his body in between the player and the ball, nice, Almada, Gomez, Almada, Godfrey. Clavigio, Ciao Roberto, Naldo, back stick, here's Alfredo and Gregor makes it 2-0 Celtic, 25th goal of the season, lovely, lovely volley, let's see that again, Zinedine Zidane just phoned, he wants to know how you done that, I was quite, actually it was from the 6 yard box, so it wasn't quite a Zidane, Maybe I was getting ahead of myself. Naldo, long throw. Romero can't get on the end of it. Here's Ciao Roberto. He'd get a game for Napoli as their best midfielder. And he's our fourth choice. Ciao Roberto! Unlucky. Almada. Celtic have got a full strength team out even though we won five games. Five won in the last game. Um, well, why wouldn't we? We want all of our players to get that European experience. Give them a boost in their XP game. I'm quite sure that's how it works, like the higher the, 
the bigger the game that you play in, the more experience that you gain, meaning the more attributes that go up. But I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Let me know. Penalty has to be a penalty, and Romero will just bang that in. I bet you he's in one of those. He's having one of those days. Knew it. Romero. You can kind of tell if the pe the player's going to score the penalty before they've even hit it, depending on how they've played in the game. If they look dangerous or no. Good finish by Romero. 3 0 half time. Napoli are going like that. How did a team for Scotland get to be so good? Aye, 3 0 half time. Well done, lads. Six, only 69,000 in the stadium for the Europa Cup semi uh, quarter final when we can hold 72,500. So that seems pretty strange. Greg, or when we, I think it was full for Celtic v Hearts. Velicic, Gomez, switches the play, nice, Naldo. Back stick. Oh, Gregor, that ball actually got faster after he headed it there. Neck muscles on him like an Eddie Hall. Koenka, Bargeza. Here's Deata. Ulanu. Hopefully they don't score, we don't know I can see the goal with Parkita, that wouldn't be good. Bregroni, he's a defender that our scouts have brung to our attention a few times. But we're not really in the market for a defender. Godfrey. Nice. Alfredo. Butcher just steps in, takes it off him easily there. Kubic has gone like that. Can I get one gaffer? I like playing these games. Good, good save by Afonso. Right, let's offer some praise to the boysies. Half an hour in, we're playing well, get them fired up. We're looking at the bench and we're thinking Kubic, but he is on a yellow card and we would like to keep him to make sure he can definitely play in the next game. If he gets a yellow card, he misses a game. So I think we will keep it as it is. We'll bring Gonzalez on because we want to rest someone. Who is it that we want to rest? We'll keep Romero on. He scored two. Let's just bring him in to play in behind the striker. Almada's not having a great game. Plus, we would kind of like to rest him. And we'll bring Kieran Smith on. For Rudy Clavigio. Give him a little bit of European experience for next season. And it looks like it's going to be Leon versus probably Schalke. Unless somehow UV get a goal in the last 10 minutes. Naldo here trying to get it to 4 0 Celtic. That has to be a goal. Romero doesn't get his hat trick. Alfredo brings it down. Here's Ben Godfrey. Alfredo. Alf beats his man and another, and he gets a ball in, but nobody's there. Ciao, Roberto Gonzalez. Touches it back. This is constant Celtic pressure. 25 shots. We have had 14 on target. Three clear-cut chances. We've only had 55% of the ball, so they must play a kind of possession-based game as well. 3 now, 8-1 on aggregate, and it's Celtic versus Manchester City in the Europa League semi-final. Well done, lads. That was a good result for us. They got pumped. So it's going to be... It looks like it's going to... They did get the goal, 90th minute for the lot. So it's going to be Schalke versus Juve and Celtic versus Man City in the semi-finals. That's good. So we'll jump back for them. How many games is it going to be before those happen, though? Not that many. A game against Aberdeen in the Cup semi-final, which I'll play offline, and St. Mern, which I'll play offline. And then it's, it's we're going to go away to Man City first. So, we'll see you then. That's all we've got epi time for in this episode. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.